So many people know that melatonin is a sleep aid and many people take it as a supplement to fall asleep faster and sleep deeper. But in this video, I wanna make the big case that melatonin is far more important than that. In fact, I'm gonna make the argument that melatonin may be the single most important hormone in your body for health, for longevity, for anti-aging benefits. It is massive and you have not been taught this information, so I wanna share it with you. I'm gonna share some of the science about how a melatonin regulates your immune system, helps anti-aging, aids in weight loss, protects your brain health, and also regulates your gut microbiome. All this is done by melatonin, and you need to know this information. Because the fact is that many of us who wanna live long and healthy lives, we focus on the exercise and the nutrition, and those are really important things. But if we are not regulating melatonin properly, we are pushing a giant ball uphill. Our whole system is dysregulated. And the simple fact is if we look into nature and we see natural law, like the way the cycles of nature work, our bodies are conformed to those cycles. During the daytime, when there is bright light outside, the sun is shining, there's blue sky, it's a very active time for our bodies. When the sun goes down at night, our brain and our eyes being an extension of the brain sense that and begin to secrete melatonin. And melatonin's job is this master night hormone. Melatonin is the master hormone that controls all of the regeneration that happens at night. And we know sleep is so vital for health and well-being. While you sleep, your whole body regenerates. It increases growth hormone to repair your muscles, your tendons, your organs. Your skin repairs itself. Your brain literally cleans itself out in the middle of the night. Your immune system gets rid of old damaged debris and goes through this process called autophagy. All of that is directed by melatonin. Did you know this? That pretty much all of your white blood cells have melatonin receptors. And you've probably experienced this in your own life, a time when you've gotten really stressed and you're not sleeping enough. That is the easiest time to get sick, when you're missing sleep. And one of the big reasons behind this is when your sleep is dysregulated, your melatonin levels are lower, your immune system strictly does not function that well. And what's amazing about melatonin is we've shown that when people have good melatonin production, which I'm gonna share with you how you can do that, it actually increases the weight of all their immune system organs. So your thymus, your spleen, your lymph nodes, they actually kind of just like plump up, meaning your immune system has just like more soldiers and more fodder. So that's a huge benefit. Melatonin is innately tied to your immune system and your strength. So if you wanna have a healthy immune system, you need to maximize melatonin. And obviously our modern lifestyle with all the bright lights, the phones blasting and all of this is completely out of sync with melatonin cycles. And it's not surprising we're seeing immune system dysfunction for people, mood disorders and depression. People are struggling with sleep and insomnia. It's because we've completely disconnected from the natural melatonin cycles. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you how to actually reconnect with that. But first I wanna share a couple more of the research backed benefits. Now, from an anti-aging perspective, we know that we wanna have a strong immune system. And as we age, there's actually a process called immunosenescence. This is basically where your immune system gets weak, tired, and old. And as it gets weak, tired, and old, there's less repair that happens. You're more likely to get things like cancers because the immune system's not detecting that. Well, guess what? Melatonin fixes immunosenescence. It gets rid of the, all those old damaged white blood cells. It helps that whole repair process. And that's why people are now touting melatonin as an anti-aging supplement. But I honestly don't wanna call melatonin a supplement because that assumes that it's something you should be getting outside of your body. Now those supplements in melatonin in supplement form can be beneficial and I'll give you the use cases in just a second. It is the most natural thing that our brains produce. Remember, this is our master nighttime hormone. It is the main governor of all this repair and nighttime cycles. So we must protect it at all costs. Now there's some other really cool benefits of melatonin. Melatonin also regulates your digestive tract and reduces inflammation in your GI tract. You've heard people talk about leaky gut, right? Where the, immune, the digestive tract gets inflamed from eating the wrong kinds of foods and then we get these immune reactions. Well, guess what? Melatonin helps heal leaky gut. It strengthens up those tight junctions of the GI tract. It reduces inflammation and ulcers in the mucosa. And melatonin is produced in the GI tract as well as the brain. In fact, there are roughly 100 to 400 times more melatonin is produced in the GI tract. And it also influences your probiotics and your good gut microbiome to have healthy populations. So imagine this, you're not sleeping well, you're watching TV late at night, you know you're not protecting your eyes and your skin from the different kinds of light, you are affecting every single body system that's governed by melatonin. This is massive. Now we also know when we get a bad night of sleep, we feel groggy, groggy and we feel that mental fatigue. And we also can see that a lot of people today are having Alzheimer's, dementia, cognitive decline. A lot of this is a buildup of damaging metabolic byproducts in the brain. These different kinds of plaques, the different kinds of insulin resistance and, and too much sugar in the body. Well, melatonin actually helps repair all of this in the brain overnight. So I hope you're starting to see just the general case that melatonin is foundational to your health. It is your master sleep hormone. It is more important than you possibly even imagined and it also aids in weight loss in conjunction with a healthy diet and exercise. 
So to be healthy, you need to do everything possible to protect your melatonin. So how exactly do you do that? Well, there's a couple things. When the sun is up in the sky where you live, that is the active time of the day. Your body's perceiving that amount of light as activity. When the sun goes down and now it's dark in your ambient environment, you need to adjust your house lights to be in accordance with that. We've heard a lot about blue light. It's a particular spectrum of light that interacts with the eye and also with the skin to suppress melatonin production. And blue light suppresses melatonin production like two to four times than other spectrums of light. And our phones and our screens kick off a lot of blue light. But it's not just about blue light, it's about the total amount of light. Because even if you have like a bunch of red lights or a bunch of like warmer lights that aren't necessarily blue, if at night in your house, you are blasting all these different kinds of lights, then you are totally messing up your melatonin production. And my argument is for this, start to use more lamps at night, turn off a couple lights, have a lower ambient environment. I don't know, get fancy and light a candle or something like that. But the point is our biology, although we have all these modern conveniences, is not disconnected from the natural light cycle. This brain and this nervous system needs to be attuned to the proper lights. And so what I personally do and how I maximize my melatonin is in the morning when the sun is up, I'm getting outside, I'm getting sunshine on my skin and my eyes. That sunshine in your eyes in the morning increases serotonin levels. That makes you feel great and ready to tackle the day. Later in the evening, that serotonin can be converted to melatonin in the brain that helps you sleep at night. So morning sunshine is key for this first light cycle. And then at night what I do as I make sure that the lights are going down the house, I'm using more lamp light, I'm not brushing my teeth, blasting all these lights late at night. When the sun is down, less light in the environment. I also wear blue blocking glasses. These are those blue blockers, you've seen them. They're really important because the photoreceptors in the eyes are most sensitive to melatonin suppression when there's too much light, let alone if you're on screens and TVs. But get this, this is where it gets even cooler. The same photoreceptors that are in your eye that absorb blue light, it's called melanopsin, are also in your skin. And so if you have blue blocking glasses on but you're still blasting your whole skin from that TV light late at night, your body is still getting absorbing this blue light. And we now know that this blue light influences these things called clock genes and it can damage your cells, it can lead to cancer production and stuff like this, and it also decreases melatonin production. So I'm literally making the argument that your whole body, your eyes and your skin have photoreceptors and it is important to protect yourself from all these different kinds of bad lights and too much light late at night. It's one of the best things you can do for your health. Now, another thing that I highly recommend you do if you have not done this now, if your kids haven't done this now, if your friends haven't done this now, go spread this information, is go onto your cell phone and turn on some kind of that warm setting. And in the iPhones, it's called night shift mode. It might be called something different on another kind of phone. This is basically where you take that bright light on the phone, you decrease the brightness, and then it turns a little more of that orange sepia color. This is basically like blue blocking your device. And I recommend whatever time the sun goes down for you at this time of the year, maybe it's now like five o'clock, that you start night shifting right at that time and keep it throughout the rest of the day. This is gonna be so, so valuable. You do this one thing, it takes you 30 seconds. You could probably do it right now while watching this video. You're literally gonna be protecting your body's main, primary, restorative neurochemical melatonin for the rest of your life. I mean, is there a more important thing you can possibly do? I don't know, I think it's one of the highest yield things you can do. Obviously get the blue blockers for your entire family, wear them at night. I think that's a really good idea as well. Now I also wanna mention melatonin supplementation. I keep melatonin as a supplement I have around the house. I do not take it every single night, but I use melatonin supplementation as a tool. So let's say I'm in a very stressful period of my life. I'm working late on the computer or something like that. If I'm doing late nights and I know my body needs a little more restoration or if I'm ever feeling sick or a little run down, you can take melatonin supplements as a way to kind of boost up your circulating melatonin levels. And that's a really good thing. How much to take? I don't know, it really doesn't matter too much from the research, anywhere from like half a milligram up to five milligrams. And there's research showing that melatonin is actually pretty safe long-term. We only have long-term studies up to about like seven years of people taking melatonin around five milligrams, and they showed no harm in terms of the fact that it's not like it suppresses your own melatonin production if you take a supplement. That's an important thing to understand. Some external hormones do that, melatonin does not. It's another hint why this is just so foundational for your brain that even taking exogenous melatonin doesn't suppress your own production. So you don't have to worry about it shutting you down per se, but I do recommend that you don't get on it all the time, every single day. Just use it periodically as a tool. Anytime you wanna reset a circadian rhythm, anytime you just need a little more support, anytime you know you're a little wired and you want a little help falling asleep, melatonin supplementation can help. But look, supplements are supplemental. Your brain makes this automatically if you have a good lifestyle. So sync up to the lifestyle is gonna be the most important thing. And then use the melatonin supplement as a little bit of a tool whenever you need it. So I hope you enjoy this video and I wanna wrap it up in a big bow. 
the purpose of you being healthy long term, or I guess like the way to be healthy for you long term, is to get synced up with the natural law and natural cycles. This means moving your body as it's intended. It means drinking water. It means eating whole non-processed foods. And it means getting synced up with the sunlight in the proper light cycles. Get active during the day with the bright light. Get the light out of your life at night. Your health is gonna improve so much from this one habit. It's gonna help your immune system. It's anti-aging. It's good for so many of these different aspects like your gut health. Really get this into your, into your mind and your heart right now about how fundamental this is. Start to protect this for you and your family. Your health is gonna benefit so much. And of course, if you want help creating an amazing health routine, like one that not just works on the nutrition exercise, but also the sleep in the mindset. This is exactly what we do inside of our Fit Father and Fit Mother programs. We help you optimize all of this, evening routines, morning routines. We make it simple for busy parents who are juggling work and family and trying to stay healthy. We have the best program online for dads and moms over 40 period. So you can check out the links below if you wanna join us inside our community, or if you're already a community member, comment below and let everyone know here how amazing our program is so they get encouraged to join us inside the FFP and FMP. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi signing off. Protect your melatonin. I'll see you in future videos, and I'll talk to you very soon.